All right, so now what we need to do is actually create our Django project. So let's go ahead and open up PowerShell and we will navigate into our project. So we'll do CD dev and then CD CFE proj. And then inside of here, we'll just run the command Django dash admin start project and then the name of our project. And then we'll press period. Now notice I didn't actually activate my virtual environment this is actually going to work and that's a problem. The reason it's gonna work is because the Django admin command was added to the command line interface, even though it wasn't using this same virtual environment necessarily. So to be safe, we need to use this virtual environment. So we'll go into pip env shell and then we'll run Django dash admin start project. And then we'll call this CFE home and I'll add a period at the end of it. If you don't add a period at the end of it, it just creates a brand new folder and doesn't put things where it should be. So add the period there and then list everything out and you'll see manage.py here. If you don't see manage.py here, but you do see CF, see CFE home, you probably did something wrong and you probably could CD into CFE home and see manage.py in there. That's not what you want. So I have manage.py in here now and I can run Python manage.py run server. This is actually starting our first Django server. Pretty simple. So I can also go ahead and copy this right here with a right click and then go into my browser, paste it in, paste and go. Congratulations, you have a brand new Django project running and created. Pretty cool. To stop the Django project from running, you can close PowerShell or you can hit hit control C inside of PowerShell, that will actually kill the server. It'll stop the server from running. So if you refresh in here, uh, you shouldn't actually see Django running. It will just load sort of endlessly until it can't be reached. Um, so that's pretty cool. So now we have Django installed. Uh, we created a project. We've done, we've done all the virtual environment stuff. Um, so the next part is actually just adding our Django project to a text editor of some kind, like I've been using, but I want to actually see the text editor so I can kind of at least look a little bit at the Django code, um, before I, you know, start doing some more real things with Django.